Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode we defeated Molton, and we headed back to Alma Moon. Um, just a side note, if you go, go back to the uh, wise Wisterwood old Father Oak person uh, and talk to him now after fe defeating Molton, he will give you three Phoenix Feathers. I'll be doing that later because I don't want to backtrack. <laughs> Mr. Rashad. You have returned. Does this mean you have completed the trials? Yes, sir, and Master Solomon taught us a whole bunch of neat stuff. I am happy for you, but this is no time for celebrations. The city is in grave danger. The volcano is... Don't worry, your pretty little head over that, your said ship. We sorted that out too while we were at it. You... But... How? It's quite a story, Father. You see... Fade to black. So, not only did you succeed in completing the trials, you also prevented the volcano from erupting? That's quite a tale. It would seem that your potential is even greater than I had imagined. But for Shadar himself to have appeared, it seems his game has entered its next phase. I must look into this. Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. We should get back to our journey. Do we have to, holy boy? I'm flipping knackered, man. Can we stop by here for a bit and have a nice babano, too? There's no time, Mr. Drippy. Other towns could be in danger. Mr. Rashad, I need to learn more magic. I need more powerful spells. You have proven your ability. You overcame the trials and saved the city. I have nothing more to teach you. You will learn more, Oliver, but you will learn much of it for yourself as your journey continues. I will? Yes, there's a limit to what can be learned without instruction. Very well. You must visit my fellow great sages. You must learn what they have to teach you. He's right, Ollie boy. Shadar is one tough cookie. I'll need all the help you can get if, you're, if to, you can get if you're going to beat him. But where can we find the other great sages? Alicia, she who once fought alongside me fell foul of Shadar, and her soul was sealed away. What? Really? We did not know this. But there are two more. They are out there. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. There's useful. Somewhere, eh? Tossage fits. Fat lot of use you are. I do not know their exact whereabouts, but I believe one of them resides in the city of Hamelin. On the continent of Autumnia. Yeah, autumn, because we're in the summer, you know, area. Oh, we're in the... No, no, we're not. Yeah, we're in the Summerlands. Uh, yeah. I was thinking of the Sunset Sea, but that's Game of Thrones. Ha Hamelin, huh? Thank you for... Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. Autumnia, that's far away to the east. You'll need a boat to get there. So you need to go via Castaway Cove. It's the closest point. To reach it, you must cross the desert to the south of here. Across the desert to the south, huh? Is it far away? Don't worry, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Esther, you mean? Yes, I'm coming with you. We'll travel together from now on. Yay. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. No, I, I like her as a party member. But are you sure? Of course I am. We're both fighting for the same thing, aren't we? And you already know how helpful having me around can be. Well, yeah, she can recruit monsters, so... Yeah. You bet I do, but Mr. Rashad, is all right if Esther comes with us? I'm a negligent father. I'd let her do whatever she wants. That's how her heart was broken in the first place. Esther, you must make yourself useful to Oliver. Don't become a burden. Are you just saying that because I'm a woman? What do you have against that? Oh, God, here we go. It's decided. Please take care of my daughter. I will, sir. Yay! <laughs> Me, won't you, That's my back. Oh, and I'm sure you will too, Drippy. Welcome aboard. Oh, I'm an afterthought, is it? That's all I can say. This is gonna work out. The hierarchy is now Oliver, Esther, and then Drippy at the bottom. Still, I suppose you do brighten the place up a bit. Go on then. The more the merrier, I suppose. Well, father. Uh, well, father, I had better be going. Take care, daughter. May the ancients watch over you. Thank you, Mr. Rashad. We'll come visit you again real soon, I promise. Yeah, we didn't even, like, visit the, the Khalifa or anything. But anyway, if we look at the map, there's, well, a quest here. And there's also going to be bounties for us. Now that we've defeated Multan and gotten to the uh, volcano, we're going to have to go back there. Yay! And guess who it is? It's Mr. Strangely Dressed Man who loses his diary. Oh, I say, it's the young fellow I met in Ding Dong Dell. And here you are again, old thing. What are the chances? It's jolly good to see you. It's good to see you too, sir. Are you riding Bed Elma Moon now? Oh, indeed I am. The desert is bolly sweltering, but one can say 
one has been on a world tour without squeezing in a little volcano viewing, don't you know? Jeepers, you climbed old Smokey? Hardly, as my maiden aunt always remarked, I'm not the most courageous of fellows, but I did poot around the foot of the old place, little what? Oh, jolly well worth it it was, too. It inspired me to write a rather marvelous little passage for my memoirs. Let me recite it to you. Oh, bother. Oh, dash and bother and confound it all. Language, mister. What's wrong? Well, I seem to have misplaced the old diary yet again, dash fool that I am. Jolly embarrassing, of course, given my solemn promise to, la to you last time we met. I seem, I must seem rather scattered brain old lemon. Actually, you look, look more like a grapefruit. Yeah, so we're going to help him find uh, the missing diary around the volcano. Leave it to us. Oh, the fire of youth brings a tear to one's jaded old eye. Never mind the fancy talk you would. You drop the flippin' thing this time. Oh, yes, I seem to remember composing a little something while leaning against the rather fine old tree at the foot of the volcano. Yeah, so... Find the tree and you'll find my diary. Yay. So yeah, I believe the diary is not in Old Smoky. I believe it is like outside it by one of the areas. But let's also head to, um, uh, let's head to Swift Solutions. There we go. Whee! Whee! Uh, because we do have, I think, two, two bounty hunts to do now. Let's check the board first of all, make sure there's nothing else that we're missing. Nope, just the notes from Volcano. You! Uh-huh. Bounty Hunts. Merchant's Menace. So this is by Castaway Cove. Yeah, there's something that's been tra attacking travel merchants and Mag Madness. Yeah, so this is... It says at the foot of Old Smokey, but... I believe this is actually inside Old Smokey. You saw there was a five, uh, uh, five, uh, <clears throat> uh, stamp job there. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, you're going to want to bring people with water affinity. And before, you know, no, I will forget, but you want to also take the fire off of your main weapon. Otherwise, you're not gonna be happy. But anyway. Um, I'm going to meet you by the foot of Old Smokey. I just want to get rid of these three guys. I'm going to meet you by the foot of Old Smokey, and we shall uh, find that guy's diary and take on the bounty hunt. So, I'll see you there. Ooh, Haku leveled up. Yay! That actually wasn't such a great level up, though. <laughs> okay, so I think the diary is around here. Yeah, so, right here on the map. Hey, I wonder if this, it's the old Duffel's diary, it's a bit burned around the edges. Yeah. So we'll give that to him momentarily, but now let's head up to, um, Old Smokey. If you remember, if you recall, actually, be while I'm talking before I forget, if you remember, um, we, uh, I told you that that area that had, like, that broken robot thing, whatever it was, um, it was a bounty area, so we're gonna be going there. I mean, it's right at the entrance, so I don't really have to, like, cut out or anything, but, uh, you probably want to save beforehand because there's a unique enemy there. It's not just a stronger version of someone you already faced, but it will be weak to water and resistant to fire, just keep that in mind. Um... I'm not gonna save, but it's probably a good idea to just get your party ready. Make sure they have water type abilities. Um, I'm actually going to switch bubble bath with water bombs since water bomb I can do from further away. Get away from me. Uh, if you take a look at the map, the bounty is right up there. So it's, you know, it's the first dead end that we got to originally. And as we turn the corner, we avoid the big horn, little big horn. Come on, come on, get out of my way. It's slow, we can run around it. Aha! And we see this horrible monstrosity. Singing. It's called a Magmazelle. Get it? Instead of Mademoiselle? Yeah, Magmazelle. We're gonna be seeing the Magmazelle family as bounties throughout the game, but you will never be able to catch it. Sadness. But the Magmazelle has close to 500 health, so don't treat it lightly. Um, yeah, so you want to use water on it, 70, 51, that's a good start. 
it's also kind of really powerful, so you want to attack it from afar. But yeah, we have two familiars, you know, just blasting it with water attacks, so this actually shouldn't be too difficult on our half, on our behalf, so yeah, 42. And he's using Splish Splash. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it for him. Come on. There we go. That was a lot easier than it that might have been, but I think it's because I'm overleveled. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, let's get out of here, and I'll meet you back at Swift Solutions. Normally, I would go for the other bounty hunt, but it's in the new area, and I just want to tackle it all at the same time. Castaway Cove, where we're heading, will have its own Swift Solutions, so I'm loath to- Get away from me. I'm loath to, uh, like, make all the trips back and forth. I'll just wait for that. Here we go. Okay, we are back in town, so we're going to head over Swift Solutions, and then we'll go to the, uh, diary guy. And that's going to end off our episode. I know it's a short video, but I don't have time to make long videos this week. I'm very sorry, but yes. We'll get a fire seal. And also five stamps. Nice. So yeah, that's that's almost full. We'll probably get the other, the other uh, stamps we need from uh, Diary Man, so that's cool. And, uh, we're not gonna be returning to Alma Moon for a little- Stop throwing up! We're gonna not gonna be returning to Alma Moon for a little while. Oh, yeah, I can see that you're really going out of your way to help us. I guess he's just there to remind you where to go. Uh, like I said, you should also probably, like, talk to everybody at least once every time you visit, just to see if they're gonna give you pages for the Wizard's Companion. It's weird. Sometimes they give it to you, sometimes they don't. Sorry to keep you waiting, this is your- Ah, oh, you are marble treasure brick of the First Order. Just don't lose it again. <laughs> yeah... But anyway, we get a hallowed habit. And three stamps. Very nice. Uh, so let's see, who can wear the hallowed habit? Probably you. Oh yeah, and the fire seal. Makes me resistant to fire, which is perfect for, uh, Rosso, actually. So now Rosso is resistant to both fire and light and has no weakness. Whoop whoop. Actually, we'll probably give that back to you because we're not going to be going near the fire enemies anymore. And nobody can use the hallowed habit. That's that's beautiful. i give that to you. Or maybe it's just not the best. Uh... It's just a plus six. What do you have now? Plus six and plus nine magic. Ah, okay. Hold on to it. Don't sell. Like I said, never sell anything because you're going to actually soon be able to use them to make other stuff. And sometimes like things that you accidentally sell, it's hard to find or they're expensive. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Like I said, I apologize that it hasn't been a bit longer, but in the next episode, we're going to head, head out to the Castaway Cove area. Uh, hopefully make it to the town, but at least we'll do the uh, uh, bounty hunt there, and we'll also search for hidden treasure. So this has been Several Total Four with Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.